Welcome to the Pilates Show Monday, where we take our Pilates brain and body out of the studio and into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're doing footwork in the bathtub. This is one of my favorite ways to do footwork. Seriously, I do this all the time. I love to take baths, and this is a perfect place where I can see the alignment of my feet. Right, the wall gives me this perfect alignment and in between the faucet. And so from here, I can work on the alignment of my parallel feet, lower legs, knees, and upper legs. Now, if I'm just to straighten my legs, see what happens. See my wonky right leg, my injured right leg? <laughs> Doesn't behave so well. So from here, what I really work on, and we went over this in the towel stretches with the footwork, in previous episodes is I want to get from my first metatarsal head all the way to my fifth metatarsal head and at first if I have to put a little bit of action in my toes to find that great later on once I'm really good at this I'm going to relax my toes but I'm not going to let go of that anchoring in my metatarsal heads and then I'm really working hard here finding the center of each heel without letting my foot turn out right so this barrier of the faucet is actually so so excellent for helping me do this because I'm pressing with my inner feet right below my big toe right and that's widening my heels a bit that's giving me the perfect placement of my parallel feet so I'm hugging into the faucet and that's giving me that little bit of a heel swing outward that we talked about in the, the towel stretches. So from here, with all my points aligned, either toes up or toes relaxed, then I can slowly start to think about opening the back of my knee. And instead of pushing with my feet, what I'm thinking more of is the femur heads in the center of my pelvis. And that very slowly, I'm lifting the femur heads deeper and deeper into my pelvis, and that's slowly opening the back of my knees. So what I'm trying to create here is this length tension between my upper and my lower leg. Yep, and then with this, I can get that right kneecap to behave a little bit. And when I do this, I feel, even with this simple little movement, um, a lot of action of the muscles around my kneecaps. It's really, really good work for this leg. And then I ask myself, can I keep this straight right leg with my kneecap in the center and let go around my pelvis? Let go around my pubic bone. Ha, oh, hard. Allow my sitting bones to open up. Allow my tail to drop down. And even if I need to do more of like a little mini bend in my knee, it's perfect. Oh, all right. So I do that a number of times. And then what I also like to do, having this barrier at the faucet, um, keeping my kneecaps just a little bit bent, but still shining up towards the ceiling. And this right leg of mine, I have to really think about blooming my right sitting bone, letting my tail go, but at the same time lifting that right inner thigh. And then from here, I do my little foot slaps with the balls of my feet. And you can see that if I'm not paying attention, that right knee falls in. Woo! And that's lots of work for the top of my right foot, my right ankle, and my right shin. So I know it's good work for me. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time, and never stop learning.